Welcome back to another video on Microsoft Excel. In today's video, we're going to look at name separation using Microsoft Excel version 2010. I did a previous video on name separation using Excel 2016. This time, we are using 2010. What exactly are we talking about in name separations? Name separation is basically you are given a list of names where both first and last name are typed out in one column. Let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about. Here I have a list. <clears throat> and if you notice in column A, both names, John Brown, for example, Mary Peters, they are in column A. Now, we are going to use Microsoft Excel 2010 to separate these names. So we're going to have in column B, the first name of the individual. And in column C, we're going to place the surname or the last name of the individual. All right. So let us just give our column a heading. So... This heading here, I call it first name. So it's going to hold the first name of the individuals. This one, I'm going to call it last name. All right. Now, what we need to do after we have created the headings for the columns, we need to select all the names in the list. All right. So I'm going to select from John Brown. So I'm going to click John Brown. Drag my mouse to the end of the list. Then I'm going to choose from this top menu here. I'm going to choose the word data. All right. So when I choose the word data, I look for an option that says text to column. We are using version 2010. So we are going to choose text to column. By selecting that, a wizard pops up and there are three steps we need to complete the first step it is asking of us if we want to choose between the option delimited or the option fixed width in our case we're going to choose delimited so we select ensure that delimited is is has been selected and this is my preview window here so just pay attention to this section of the wizard. All right. So after selecting delimited, I would click next. Now the delimiters are basically the way in which names are separated in my original column. Is it separated using the tab? Is it separated by semicolon? In my case, it is separate. First names are separated using space so i'm going to select space i'm going to enter that space has been selected and if you notice in my preview window you're going to see selection i'm um, sorry separation taking place all right now when that has been completed we are going to click next so there i click next my third step is asking us where we want to place our names in 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 our case we want um we want it to start in column b in cell b2 to be specific so i go to the option here this window here that says destination and i'm seeing dollar sign a dollar sign two i'm going to change the a to b I can do that, change the A to B. So I want it to start in column B, row two, or cell B2. Now, there's another option that says if we want to change the data type of our columns, is it general, will it be text, would it be date, and so on. Let's just let it remain on general, all right? Now that we have done that, our next step is to click finish there are no more steps so we click finish and once we do that here our list will be populated um column by column first name in one column last name in another column 
All right, guys. Now that you have seen <coughs> both ways how to separate names in Microsoft Excel, now depending on your version, you would know which method to use. All right. Please remember to like my video, share and subscribe so that the next video, you will be the first to know. Thank you.